Yo, this is Major Slack, and this is my Far Cry 2 strategy guide. And this is how to do um, the basic training, the training and tutorial section of the game, okay? And this assumes that you started a brand new game, and you deleted all the saved games in your saved games folder. And this will guarantee that you start out with uh, Carbonell, and you do the Lumber Camp mission, and you get the Rocket Launcher in your weapon loadout, alright? So, uh, start with uh, Story Mode, New Story. Normal difficulty, Marty as your character, and that's it. Load it up, and away you go. So there's a long okay. uh, full motion oh, video here in the start. Sorry for the delay. It's ten minutes long. We're just gonna so skip right over that and get right to the part yeah, where you it. are it's in full control, you control of your character. Okay. So that'll be right after the jackal gives you this big speech, and um, here you are. You're in fully control of your character, and you're tasked with getting out of town. And this is basically, like I said, the training and tutorial mission of the game and the game is going to show you how to play the game and I'm going to fill in the blanks on some stuff it doesn't cover. For example, you can go down here and pick up a G3KA4 assault rifle or machine gun. Pick up one of those, grab that, and then you can go downstairs and grab some bullets off the bar. Go downstairs. Here we go, at the end of the bar here, grab some bullets, grab those up, and now you have to get out of town, and you can go that way, but I don't recommend it, instead, go back upstairs, to the second floor, and find the room with the open window. There it is, there's the open window, and just do some Super Mario stuff to jump out the window, just jump up in this bureau here, Oops. jump up on the window ledge, and out you go, Bob's your uncle. Turn to the right, and if you see any hostiles, well, just kill them. Ain't war hell. So just continue on here, veer off to the right there, and you'll see a hole in the fence. There's the hole in the fence. Crouch down, go out the hole in the fence, and that's it, you're out of town. And that's pretty much the easiest and quickest way to get out of town. Although this is all pretty much an exercise in futility because no matter what you do, you're going to pass out from malaria fever. As you can see what's happening now, passing out. Far Cry 2 kind of put you through the motions here, I don't know why they did this. Give you a bunch of weapons, stick you in the middle of a war zone, and say, okay, let's see if you can survive. But then you pass out anyways. <laughs> So you wake up in the care, quote, end quote, of your new boss, who's going to be Carbonell, if you deleted all the saved games in your saved games folder. So here's Carbonell, and first thing on the agenda is going to be to heal yourself. Do a little field of surgery, something you're going to be doing throughout the game. So, do some field surgery. Ew, grody. Okay, that's done. And now you're going to talk to Carbonell. My name is Carbonell. I don't care what your name is. You're just the problem right now. Who's a real Who asshole, as you can tell? <laughs> got some of my guys killed at the hotel. You know that? So I think you work for me. Ain't more hell. I've got a few <laughs> errands for you, Aaron boy. Get on out here. Get yourself kitted up. There's ammo and meds for you. So these blue save boxes here—they're pretty much for the console version of the game. In the PC version of the game, you can save the game pretty much anywhere you like. So. Those are really redundant. I don't know why they put them in there, but mm, what the hell. So anyways, here you get all your weapons back. Far Cry 2 pulled that old take away all your weapons trick. First five minutes into the game. Didn't waste any time. So now you're getting your weapons back. And if you deleted all the saved games in your saved games folder, this will be your weapon loadout. Most particularly, you'll get the rocket launcher, which I just picked up. And um, I prefer that to the flamethrower. And just grab some meds here. And as soon as you heal yourself, Carbonell is going right, to give you your slick. first task, really or first objective. And that is to repair a vehicle. So you go outside, we just skipped over that part, and we're going to go outside, and there's the vehicle you're going to repair, it's right there. So you repair the vehicle, the game's going to show you how to do that, so we're just going to skip over that too. And get right to um, our first real objective. Carbonell has called you up on the cell phone and told you to go to a safe house. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm, on the way I'm going to show you how to drive with the map engaged. It's a good way to get around Far Cry 2, just engage your map. 
and you can monitor your progress as you go along so it'll help you find your way around Far Cry 2. Green arrow is you, red circle is your objective, you just you know, use that to monitor your progress. And you can also use these color coded signposts to help find your way around, okay? So now we just skipped ahead and we're right in front of the safe house and I'm going to show you how to deal with the recoil on your weapons, okay? So some of the machine guns, when you fire them, the barrel will rise, okay? And then we'll throw off your aim and here's how to deal with that. One way to deal with it is just, just simply aim low, aim low, and as the muzzle rises, you know, you just riddle the guy's whole body with bullets. <laughs> and uh, a second way of dealing with that is to, to fire in short, controlled bursts, like this, okay? And that way the muzzle doesn't rise too much, and it doesn't throw your aim off, and you stay on target. So now Carbonell's calling you, congratulating you. Okay, I've got another chore for you, but I can't And he's telling you to go take a nap in the safe house because you're all burnt out from malaria and whatnot. You know, so the game's basically showing you, you know, how safe houses work. And one very good use of safe houses is to control what time of day you play Far Cry 2. For example, if you don't like doing night missions, you can go to a safe house and sleep till next morning and then continue on in daylight, you know? So pick up all the stuff from the guys outside you killed, you know, grenades and whatnot. You can pick up some more grenades here inside the safe house off to your right on the shelf there. Pick up some fuel for your Molotov cocktails in case you get thirsty. <laughs> and here's the bed. So you only have to sleep a few minutes, eh? That's all you have to do. So just sleep a few minutes. The game is just showing you how, how safe houses work. It's just an example. And that's it. Get up. Save the game if you like. And out you go. By the way, don't drink Molotov cocktails. Okay, I was just kidding. Please don't do that. Okay. Okay, so Carbonell's calling up again, and he's going to give you your next objective. An old lumber camp. I want to know what resources they got down there. There's a primo observation point marked on your map. Head there now. And as you just heard, it's a lumber camp. So this is the lumber camp mission. So you have to drive to the lumber camp and scout it out for him. Once again, engage your map. So you can monitor your progress while driving, green arrows you, red circle is your objective, head towards that. And on the way there, the game's going to prompt you to get out of your vehicle and follow a little footpath up to a good vantage point on the lump camp. And this is a tactic you should embrace throughout the game. Here's the prompt, okay, so you get out of your vehicle. And throughout the game, whenever you're approaching an enemy position, you should always try to find the high ground, okay? Define the high ground, and that'll give you a commanding view over the entire enemy position, okay? It'll give you a huge tactical advantage when you do this, and it's especially effective when you have a sniper rifle, okay? So now the game's show showing you how the monocular works. You just tag the building which has a hostage inside, and Carbonell's gonna call you up and tell you about that. Got your intel. Not bad. You see the bricked up place? I hear the APR's got a hostage in there, some foreign national like you. Your new orders are to get in there and break them out. Finish up your recon if you think it'll help. Okay, don't let Carbono rattle you. There's there's more recon you can do. For example, you can you can tag this med kit there. And you know, there's there's an ammo pile down here. Okay, that's our fir our first the first thing on the agenda. We're gonna go down and grab a whole bunch of bullets for our pistol and machine gun, okay? go there it's pretty, pretty safe up to this point so just run down there and grab some bullets okay and now we're gonna go free the hostage in that hostage building okay and this is this is the best way to do it just sneak up here crouch down sneak up behind this tree stump and you're gonna make a mad dash towards that building over there see where I'm pointing now so make a mad dash towards this building come in for a slide you can slide by the way by pressing crouch while running okay so sneak behind this building here take a breather Look for the tree. There's the tree. So run up. Hide behind this tree. Look for the next tree. Run up. Hide behind this tree. And there is the door to the hostage building. So just run in there. And that's it. That's the easiest way to do this part. You didn't shoot anybody and nobody shot at you. So just go in here and free the hostage, which turns out to be your, your best buddy. And the game's going to tell you about all about how the buddy system works, so I won't go into that. Grab some meds on your way out. And when you get back outside, anything could be happening, so be ready. And I'm going to show you how to do a one-hit kill with your pistol. Just aim for the head, 
But dang, that's it. That's all it takes. One shot. Okay, so if you're using your pistol, which you will in my next uh, tutorial, um, <laughs> if you're using a, your pistol in a firefight, um, don't just you know aim willy nilly and shoot all over the guy's body and try to kill him that way. It might be to your advantage to just take the time, aim for his head, one shot, bang, that's it, he's dead. And uh, one final thing, if you get a phone call in the middle of a firefight, you, you don't have to answer the phone. <laughs> You're busy, right? You can just let the voicemail kick in and then, you know, you can answer the phone later on, you know, at your leisure. So now we're, we're getting our voicemail. Carbon is telling us, come back to the fishing pier and get paid. And that's what we're going to do. And that is the end of part one of this tutorial. Click on the link to continue on to part two.